if we prevail, you know, these three little kids uh, will be provided for, for quite well. Um, you know, that, uh, that'll certainly go to benefit them. Mark Randaza represents Shadia Hilo, the biological mother of the three girls aged five, six, and eight, and the GoFundMe case put on by Daisha Kelly. Kelly's GoFundMe, titled Help My Girls and I Avoid Eviction, sought donations with a goal of $2,000. But after being featured on national television in early August, she raised more than $233,000. But that's when the real mother, Shadia Hilo, outed Kelly, who later admitted she was not the girl's mother after all. According to Rendaza, Kelly was dating the girl's father. As for the money, it's in the hands of the court. The judge decided that at least based on what he had seen in the case so far, uh, we had a substantial likelihood of success on the merits and that it would be fair and equitable to lock the money up. So the kids don't have it. Ms. Hilo does, uh, Ms. Kelly doesn't have it. The money is just sitting right where it was until further action by the court. In court documents filed last week, the lawsuit reads in part, Kelly, quote, exploited three children for financial gain in a fraudulent fundraising scheme. After Rondaza contacted GoFundMe about the allegations, the fundraising company gave donors a few days to seek a refund, which ultimately left Kelly with $162,000 for herself, or so it seemed. Now, no one will get a dime until the case moves forward. Before taking the matter to court, Randaza says he and Hilo offered to split the money four ways between Kelly and the three girls. That seemed uh, seemed to me to be a fair offer. And she was not satisfied with that. She was not satisfied with that. Atlanta Black Star was unsuccessful in contacting Kelly, but we did hear from her newly hired lawyer, Craig Drummond. He told us because he's new to the case, he had no comment at this time. Shadia Hilo also declined to be interviewed. Because it's a very public case, um, but you know she's not a very public person. If asked what Hilo would do with the money if given to her. Let's just say that uh, you know, Ms. Hilo is, is not wealthy uh, and, and has, uh, has eight children. So uh, it is, uh, yeah, it, it, it will not simply uh, go to buy her another sports car. Rondaza expects this case to move quickly in the courts. He believes we'll know who's getting the $162,000 before Thanksgiving. Reporting for Atlanta Black Star, I'm Cavante Smalls.